Okay, so we have spent the morning at the doctor's office with Allison. She has a sinus infection. So we came to the Cracker Rail to eat. Allison, can you tell me what you're having? The macaroni and cheese. Okay. And I decided to go with their special. It is a grilled chicken salad and a baked potato. Okay, so we got done eating at Cracker Barrel. Allison does have a sinus infection and an ear infection. So we're gonna go get her medicine now. We went to Ruler Foods and got some groceries and some things for Thanksgiving baskets at the school. So we're gonna head home. Well, we're gonna head to the drugstore and then we're gonna head home. And I'll try to show you um, a little bit of what we got at Ruler. Okay, we're back from the doctor and her fever is spiking so she's gonna go and lay down. I made a trip to ruler as I said before. So here is my receipt. It's nice and long. This is the haul that I got. The total was $85.31 for all of this. Um, and that did include buying the shopping bags. You have to pay for the shopping bags if you don't bring your own. Um, the like plastic bags that they're away and I didn't know I was going. So some of the stuff is for us to keep and some of it's not. Um, I will try to tell you what is and what isn't. These Kool-Aid packages, there's nine of them in assorted flavors. Those are going to the school for, I don't know if they're Thanksgiving baskets or if they're for the fall festival. Um, the barbecue sauces, two of these are to keep. There's also a big barbecue sauce back here for crock pot meals. That's for us to keep. We needed more eggs, so there's eggs. These three 24 packages of tea bags are going to the school. Um, sugar is for us to keep. It is vegetable soup and chili season, so I needed to stock up on peanut butter for those. Coffee, um, it's a big thing of Folgers. That is for the school. The Campbell's cream of chicken soup is for us to keep. Those are, you know, a staple for us. Um, we got six of those, six of the pinto beans for us to keep, six of the great northern beans for us to keep, um, let's see what is this here, um, six mixed vegetables for vegetable soups, these, um, six green beans are for the school, six of the baby carrots for the school, six of the fruit cocktails are for us to keep for fruit salads. Um, I got these little cheesy smoked sausages for, I got two packages of those and two packages of the croissants for pigs in a blanket. Got some more biscuits for chicken and dumplings. Um, stocked up on bread for lunches, um, six of those. Uh, stocked up on macaroni noodles. We like to have a lot of macaroni. Um, we were just about out of the crushed red pepper. Um, we are out of salt, and I knew I needed to get a backup Miracle Whip for the pantry. We were completely out of milk. Um, the kids needed some snacks for their lunches, so I got some granola bars um, and some gummies. Um, they like to have their honey buns in the morning, and Matt was out of his frosted fudge cakes. So... I think that's about it um now i have to get all this put away and i have a mess in the kitchen that i'm going to be cleaning up and you guys will see a video on that later but i'm just going to show you it's a disaster yeah it, it's bad very very bad in here because i was sick last night allison was sick last night we just like crashed and didn't do anything we didn't do our night routines or anything so we're gonna get this going and i'm gonna get this stuff away and i'll get this kitchen pickup video film for you guys so we'll see you guys later Okay, so it's quite a bit lighter, and I have been teaching Allison how to gargle salt water for her throat. She's dancing in the background. Um, behind, over there. <laughs> but um, she's complaining with her throat really hurting and her stomach really hurting now, and her fever is starting to go up again. So she's gargled some salt water, and she's going to go lay down and watch the Hallmark Channel, aren't you? <laughs> 
You wouldn't think by looking at her that there's anything wrong with her, but here in about 10 minutes, she's going to be like laid out, eyes glazed over. She just, she goes from this bouncing off the walls to out like a light. And the kids have gone with Nana home and she's going to take them to church tonight. And either me or Matt one will go pick them up. We'll see when he gets home which one he decides he wants to do. I have supper in the crock pot. So here's my crock pot and I'll show you. I, I hope that this is going to be edible because I cooked it too slow yesterday. Um, it's a pork loin and um, I didn't do it with barbecue sauce yesterday. I just did regular roast while well, it was dry. So I've added barbecue sauce and put it back in on low and I'm hoping that it will make it where it's not so tough because it was really tough before. So when Matt gets home, we're gonna test this out and see if it's gonna be worth eating. And if not, I'll have to pick something up to fix. So I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so I am really hungry. And when I was hungry, I go through the cabinets. And I went through the freezer and I found these dinner rolls. So I had just had five left. That's the perfect amount for everybody to get one. And they have to rise. So I flipped it over here on the back and they have a speed here the speed method so it says an hour and a half instead of like three to five hours so I'm gonna pop these in the oven on 200 and let them rise with some water in a bowl underneath of them and then we'll be able to have some rolls for supper tonight so let's see what else I can find that there was supper tonight okay so these did not turn out um, I don't know if they just didn't rise enough or if they were old, but, um, I just broke one open a while ago. They're really hot still. You can see they're just, it's like a lot of dough. So, I'm going to pitch them. See if I can find some other rolls because now I got my heart set on them. On the other hand, this is the loin, and it is looking good. I was going to stir it up, but I don't know. Sure. So, I just cut it to where it would fit into this bowl and put some of the barbecue sauce over top of it. And um, Matt will be home in about 20, 30 minutes, and I'm going to let him see what he thinks. I tasted it. It doesn't seem too dry to me, so we'll give that a shot. And then over here in the oven, I have... potatoes and carrots from last night that I'm going to heat back up and see if they're suitable. So the oven's on 350 trying to get those heated up. It is 459 at night and Mac gets off at 5 so he should be here shortly and then one of the two of us will go pick up the kids from church. I think Allison's feeling a little better. She decided she was ready to put up her Christmas tree. So she's working on that. And I'm fixing to go get the kids as soon as Matt gets here. So I'll leave her here. She doesn't need to get out if she's sick. We'll show you a look at her Christmas tree if she gets it put up. So Allison got her tree up while I was gone. She picked the kids up from church. And it looks pretty good. She has to get some ornaments to put on it tomorrow. And I'll have to pick Jaden up a tree to put in her room because they girls shared a room last year and they are not sharing a room anymore. We got the basement finished and Ryan moved downstairs and they are in here eating that one's not happy about having to eat supper and Ryan says it's too spicy I say gross and the dogs are hanging out being guards so they don't get up before their food is done Allison finished her plate when she's downstairs on the couch Ryan's tree is there and he's fixing to take that down to his room to put up and that's the groceries from earlier today in the hall that need to go to the school. So, I'll check back in with you before bed. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching today. It's 9 o'clock at night. And I'm going to go in my shower and get ready for bed. Um, so, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, you will get a video of my kitchen pickup tomorrow. Um, but I will be back with the vlog here in the next few days. I've got several videos that should be coming out um, your way. So stay tuned for more. 
please hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss a thing and give me a thumbs up if you like this video bye guys